So today I'm going to show you how to install your footrest on your high chair. The high chair I'll be using today is the IKEA high chair. However, the footrest is suitable for the Kmart, Target and also Big W high chair. Now, in your parcel you will receive an adjustable wooden footrest. Um, just to let you know, these are handcrafted in Melbourne, so we're really proud to be Australian made. And you will notice that the characteristics of the wood um, are all different. Also in your parcel you receive an instruction card and four O-rings. So with the four O-rings, it will include two thicker O-rings and two thinner O-rings. What I'd like to point out is that the thicker O-ring will be used to support your footrest underneath and the thinner O-ring will be used to support your footrest from the top. So what you want to do using your legs, in particular the two front legs, is install the O-rings first. So we're going to look at the thicker O-ring, simply dismantle your legs and place the thicker O-ring on top and just slide it down. So because the thicker O-ring is less stretchy, it is a little bit tougher to get down the leg. And secondly, we'll pop the thin O-ring on top. So you want to leave them about 20 centimetres apart. Pop it back into your high chair. So when it comes to adjusting your footrest, you want to ensure that you have enough gap here so that you can fit your footrest on an angle. So we simply install it on an angle like this. and then let it rest on the O-rings. So I just wanted to show you that the footrest does adjust as your child grows. So for instance, if you have a young baby just starting out on solids, the footrest can hold up right up to the top here. Or for children that are older, the footrest can go all the way down. So as you can see, it is adjustable. All you need to do is fit the O-rings to the appropriate size. So when it comes to fitting your O-rings, I will explain how to do this later. However, I just wanted to note that thicker O-rings on the bottom, thinner O-rings on the top. So as you can see, when I roll down the thinner O-rings, this is what keeps the foot rest in place. So this side won't move, but as you can see, this side is still loose. So using those thin O-rings to support the foot rest is really important. Now when it comes to adjusting the footrest to the appropriate size for your child, you want to ensure that your child's hips, knees and legs are on a 90 degree angle. So you want to pop them into the high chair, you want to harness their safety belt, so it's really important that you do harness their safety belt when they're in the high chair because a lot of kids can press up on the footrest causing them to rise above their seat which can be dangerous. So we wanna ensure that we're always supervising our kids while they are using the high chair, especially with the footrest. So you'll have your child in here, ensure that their legs, hips and knees are at 90 degrees. And then all we need to do is simply roll up the footrest to the proper length. Let's roll this thick one up. Okay, so your child's legs will be measured here, again 90 degrees, and then we simply roll the thin O-ring to keep it in place. So your child's feet should rest on the footrest, and you'll see that it shouldn't move. 